today we're talking about electric water heaters, what's inside of them and what you can do to them. And we're talking about it right now. Hi, I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. Today we're talking electric water heaters. I want to say thanks to Bradford White. As you can see, this is a real 50 gallon electric water heater that they've cut open so that we can show you what's inside of it. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen inside of a water heater. I have new and old. This is a really good water heater. I'll show you the electronics in a little bit, but right now the main things that I want to show you is you have your anode rod. Anode rod is normally made out of magnesium. It goes down, it's sacrificial, and it's made to help protect the water heater. So that anything that, any flaws that may be on the inside of the tank, the anode rod will sacrifice itself so that that material can come over and kind of fill that hole. Your dip tube is what makes sure that when your cold water goes in, your cold water goes to the very bottom. That way it's heated up, your hot water rises, which is where the opening is on the anode rod where it goes out to go through your hot water distribution system. The thing that I like about the dip tube on the Bradford Watt water heater is you get down to the bottom and it's cut at an angle, or it's got several little holes in it at an angle so it actually penetrates out and that helps flush the bottom of your water heater. Your heating elements, as you see, penetrate almost all the way across to the other side of the water heater. This gives them a larger heating area and therefore helps the water heat faster. As you can see here on the electric water here, you've got about three inches of insulation here. April 16th, 2015, they changed the code so that water heaters had to be more efficient. Therefore, water heaters got about two inches bigger. An extra inch of insulation added all the way around to make them two inches bigger overall and more insulation on top and bottom to make them larger. Now I'm gonna spin this around so you can see where the electronics are. Now I'm gonna open up this cover to show you what's inside. This is where you access the thermostat and element on an electric water heater. Make sure not to lose your screw. Now you want to be careful when you open this up. As you can see, ours isn't plugged in. It doesn't even have any water in it. But this is where your thermostat and your heating element are. Sometimes you can press this reset button on a thermostat. If it trips, press that button, check it, and see if that's what your problem is. One thing that I like about Bradford White water heaters, when they're wired, they go down and they put a J on them. The reason being, if this thermostat ever does leak or anything leaks around it and water gets on this, it'll drip down and not come up to the electronics. I think that's a really smart thing that Bradford White does. Inside on your thermostat, as you can see, this one is set for hot. You can turn it up to very hot, or you can actually turn it down depending on what temperature you want the water at in your house. Just remember, anything over 120, scalding can become very serious. Here's your thermostat. As you can see, you have your power coming in, your wires going out to your different elements, top and bottom. Thermostat can be changed out, element can be changed out, and the lower element can be changed out. Always make sure you take a picture so you know how it's wired. That way, if you do have to change out any of these parts yourself, you make sure to put everything in the same way it came out. All right, guys, down here for the lower element, we're going to go ahead and open it up and show you it also. And as you can see, this thing's moving around a little bit, but this water heater doesn't have water in it. Again, be careful not to lose your screw. Now here's your ground wire, and again, you got your thermostat on bottom with the J-bend on the wires, that way anything drips down. When you pull the cover off, as you see, this thermostat's different. The heating elements should be the same. Again, I like the way they've got the J on the bottom of everything, that way anything dripping, the water drips down and away from the electronics on the water heater. One other thing I really love about the Bradford Watt water heaters is the full metal drain valve. Stick your screwdriver in. Quarter turn, it's open. Quarter turn, it's closed. Great, since we all know you're supposed to be flushing your water heaters to maintain them. On top of the water heater, you have your electrical connections. Take out your one panel. 
As you see the wires are sticking out right here, this is where you will stick your electrical connections in. Make sure you secure everything. You do twist nuts down here and keep everything in here secure. You don't want any wires sticking out through the metal pieces. That way it doesn't cause an electrical short out later. You also have a ground screw up here. Make sure you ground your water here. As you can see, you got your temperature and pressure relief valve up here. If you've got a relatively new water heater, make sure you cycle this about once a year. What this does, it makes sure the seal works like it should, and it makes sure that the spring gets actuated that way it works like it should. You've got your hot and cold nipples up here. These are dielectric nipples, so you don't get electrolysis between dissimilar metals. So you can actually hook a female copper adapter directly to these nipples. Your cold inlet where the dip tube is attached to, make sure that your cold water goes to the bottom like we talked about earlier. And then your hot, whenever you take this nipple out, actually has two holes in it to where your hot water is taken right off the top. As we all know, hot water rises. Guys, I hope you learned something today. I hope these videos help you out. If so, please leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about them. If there's something you want us to do a video on, please leave a comment down here and let us know. If you hadn't done it yet, please click on the subscribe button. Please like our channel, ring the bell, do whatever you want to do, but let us know what you think. Hope you're enjoying these. My name is Roger Wakefield with Texas Green Plumbing, saving you money one drop at a time.